So you hear about all of these people on the internet enrolling a gazillion bazillion new customers and teammates using social media and the internet in network marketing. And you're wondering how the heck are these people doing it? And you might even be seeing your upline doing it and they're holding back. They're not even sharing with you exactly what it is that they're doing. Or you're wondering how the heck do I get this awesomeness to work for me because heck who doesn't like having all these fish jumping in the boat versus you having to be out there fishing all day and then putting gross worms on the hook. Ew. Well, in this episode, I am going to take you back to 2010 where I first started to learn all of this internet social marketing thing for my network marketing business. I'm gonna show you how I did what I did and why I created the ultimate branding blueprint to help many others do the same in their business. So stay tuned. Welcome to episode 117. My name is Tanya Liza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly, designing a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new training episode and free resource for you and your business each and every week. So I got started in network marketing, my very first network marketing company in 2009, and I was working as a finance specialist at the time. I made a very good income, but I was absolutely time broke. I made all this money, had no time to spend it. So when my girlfriend, Michelle, actually introduced me to the industry for the very first time, invited me over to her house to take a look at a presentation, I was interested because I thought, hey, this is a cool way that I could make the same kind of money that I'm used to making, if not more, but more importantly, have time freedom on my side. Some of the people that I saw presenting had made more money than I was making. And the cool thing is they worked about two hours a day. They got to pick their son up from school every day, drop him off to school every day. And that's the kind of lifestyle that I really wanted to live. And going down the same path that I was going down as a finance specialist, there was really no uh, vision or hope in sight of having that time freedom that I really craved. So that's exactly what got me attracted to network marketing. And so I did everything that my upline told me to do. And my upline was not a fan of social media. Now I will admit that social media is quite different today than it was back in 2009. More companies, more leaders, they're training social media because they know now how powerful it is for your business and they know how, uh, you know, it's not going anywhere and it's the way of the future. Back then I was a black sheep in my team for going out and wanting to use the internet to attract prospects and people to me rather than going out hunting for them at the shopping stores, the grocery stores, the malls, the coffee shops, and like bugging people being like, hey, do you wanna join my business? And they, they were just there to get a coffee at Starbucks. So I did everything my upline told me to do. I talked to my friends and family. I hosted home party after home party after home party. I exhausted the heck out of myself and I created a tiny bit of success, but it wasn't anything to write home about. And you gotta remember the original reason why I got started in network marketing was time freedom. And nowhere in what I was doing was promising me time freedom. Actually, the more money that I made in my network marketing business at the time, the more I found I was working. And I already had a full-time job, so I was already adding to my full-time job, and I was scratching my head really wondering, like, I wanted a home business. They said that I was gonna get a home business and time freedom. Like, where the heck is the home in the equation? I'm out six nights a week doing party after party. I'm traveling all over the place. And I just wanted that time freedom that was nowhere in sight at that time. So I went online and I tried to figure out if there was a way that I could use internet marketing to bring prospects to me that were looking for the benefits of what my business or my products provided. Because there's billions of people online, right? On Google, searching for things every single day, looking for solutions that my product or my business can help them with. So I really knew that that existed. I had followed a couple of internet marketers at the time and I was like, man, if they're able to do it, there should be a way that I should be able to do it. And I went on a journey in 2010, 
right after I started my network marketing business, I went on a journey to figure out how to get new people into my world that were looking for the benefits of what my product or business provided. Time, freedom, additional income. Some of the health benefits at the time were like lower, lowering how to lower cholesterol, how to lose weight. Those were some of the, the, the problems that my product or my business would have been perfect serving. And I wanted to find a way to get my stuff, get my myself in front of those people because let's just face it, are those people more primed and perfect and ready to hear about what you have? Or is the person sitting at Starbucks and drinking their morning coffee like for a quick minute, is that the person that you wanna be talking about? Well, you know, you can argue it both ways, but if you had one or the other, what would you choose? I know you're a smart cookie, just like me. I would choose the person that has some level of interest and deep desire for what it is that I already have. So what was very important to me when I went out there and I sought training, because there's a billion and one gurus out there that are trying to train you on how to do something and sell you a program or sell you stuff that they have never accomplished themselves. Like there's so many people out there saying like, I can teach you how to build your network marketing business online with success. And they themselves have never done it. And so I wasn't looking for that. I went out looking for somebody that has specifically built a network marketing company using social media, using online strategies. And I wanted to learn from that person that had walked in the shoes or walked the path that I wanted to go down. So number one, very, very important to be careful who you're learning from and make sure that they have accomplished what it is that they're training or teaching you or claiming to be a so-called guru expert in. So I found a couple of people that were totally crushing it in their network marketing business. And I literally hacked everything that they were doing. Now, one of the things that I learned that they had was they had a blog, they had an infrastructure that basically showcased them as the leader and the authority. And they just shared content and information that was useful to their audience. And they started to build a tribe through their blog. So what does a smart person do if they notice a common thread they go and they follow that path. So all of the people that I saw that were totally crushing it online, they had an authority piece, i.e. their blog that was working for them. So what I did was I made a note. I'm like, okay, I need to find a way to build a blog because I need somewhere to bring the people that are on the internet or on social media to me when they are requesting the information that they're looking for and have them come to me and my blog. So I went on this journey and uh, back in 2010 to build my own blog and infrastructure. Now I had no training on how to do this really. I was like mod podging everything together. My very first rendition of my website or blog was absolutely horrible. It looked, it looked like a, a scrapbook. <laughs> it was really funny, but it worked for me. And here are some of the things that it did that blew my mind. Now, before I share these things, you have to remember that I was pretty much brand new when I came on out online and I went to build my blog. And I was internally sabotaging some of my success with my negative self-talk that told me I wasn't good enough. Who are you to create a blog? You haven't created a lot of results yet. Who would even listen to you? Why would you position yourself as an authority? And I was like, I'm not gonna pretend to know a bunch of stuff. I'm just gonna take people on my journey with me on my blog. And so a couple of things that happened that absolutely blew my mind is I would have people reaching out to me uh, about every other day asking if, if I would talk to them about working together and having me show them what I do because they wanna do the same thing. Now, I wasn't positioning myself as like an expert, I was just taking people on my journey, but immediately, because they were on my blog, they immediately, just by default and perspective, and perception of you having a blog, they immediately was like, whoa, this person must know what they're talking about. Whoa, I look up to this person. So immediately I was an authority and credible expert in their mind when they reached out to me. So immediately, even if you're brand new or you know nothing yet, when you set up your blog and your infrastructure that people come and visit, that's how they immediately view you, which sure beats me going into coffee shop meetings or cold calling and having people totally sometimes disrespect you and not even look up to you as a credible source when you're sharing your products or services. The dynamic completely changed. 
Another cool thing is I had people wanting to buy my products without me having to talk to them. Okay. So I would do like a post on my blog that was like a comparison post, or I talked about the benefits of my product. I never shared the product name. They had to reach out to me to learn about the, what the product was, but I would have people reaching out to me saying, Hey, I, I heard about that product you were talking about on your blog. I'd like to learn more about it. I'd like to buy it. Can you send me some information? Pretty awesome. I also learned the power of building an email list. So somebody has to put in their name and email to learn more. So I got to a point after a few months of actually really putting in some consistent daily work about 60 minutes a day into this strategy. And I got to a point where I had so many leads coming in that I couldn't connect with them and take them through the process all on my own. So I ended up calling my upline and I was like, Hey, I've got all these people joining the team. I can't train them fast enough. I've got all these leads that I need to talk to. Can we work out a partnership so that, you know, when I bring them on board, you're training them so that they don't feel abandoned, right? I mean, quality problem to have. We fixed that problem once we already, we fixed that problem next. But the first problem that I had, which was nobody to talk to about my business, that was solved. And we had another quality problem that arose was so many people were coming in. I needed to create a partnership with my upline. And immediately my upline was then a little bit more warmed up to social media. So naturally when you have a lot of these results come in, people want to know what it is that you're doing right? They're calling like, Hey, Tanya, I see you have this blog. I see you got a bunch of leads coming in. I see you're hitting the leaderboard and winning all these incentives with your company. How the heck are you doing it? And quite frankly, I mean, I couldn't teach somebody over the phone in like a 60 minute conversation and show them what I was doing. It was frankly impossible. But after I had enough people asking me like, how are you doing what you're doing? I decided I'm like, maybe I should create a training and show people and walk them through the steps. And then what ended up happening a few years later was the ultimate branding blueprint, which is one of my staple and most popular programs that we have online. It was born because of that demand. People wanted to know exactly what I was doing to create the long-term stable results that we had created in our business. Now let's just be honest with one another. Okay. You and I do not want to go out and build a blog, right? You don't want any more work that you have to do in your business than maybe what you're doing already. But the reality is, is that no one wants the work, but they want the results. But here are the real results that you can expect by having a blog and managing it, taking about 60 minutes a day to do so. Passive leads. That means people coming to you every single day, asking you for more information about your product, your service, or your business. Passive sales. So if you set this up right, you can take the leads and immediately do a sales presentation with them and actually have them buy without you ever talking to them. Yes. That's what I said. Instant credibility. So people actually take you seriously when you're talking to them. Instant authority. That's what I'm talking about. This is one of the biggest ones. If you're one of those sitting there right now going, well, Tanya, can't you just build your business on YouTube or Facebook? You can, but it's risky. See with a blog, you own it, you control it, and no one can take it away from you. Facebook accounts, YouTube accounts get shut down all the time and you don't control that. And if you built your brand and your infrastructure and you put all your content into an infrastructure that you don't control or own, and that's the only thing that you've done, you're at very high risk to it being gone one day forever. So you notice that every time I post on, you know, Facebook or YouTube, I'm telling people go back to my blog, go back to my blog. So I'm directing everything over to my blog because my blog does the heavy lifting for me, does all the work for me. It's magical. And the cool thing is, is you can actually now go on that vacation that you really wanted to go on with your family, or you really want to have that time freedom that you were looking for when you joined your business, or you just wanted to make some extra money because that's what you're doing your business for, right? So your blog works for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So even if I wanted to peace out for the day and hit the beach, toes in the sand, drink margaritas, I'd come home later that night and have people that have emailed me and said, Hey, I want to learn more about your products and services. Can we connect? I'll even wake up some mornings and have automated sales and signups that have come in. Trust me, it is amazing when you learn how to do this. 
So obviously, like I said before, I created a step-by-step -step training program called the Ultimate Branding Blueprint. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, but it is my staple online program for teaching you how to set up your own WordPress self-hosted blog and your sales funnel so that you can generate leads and sales for your business so that you not only have a beautiful blog, but it actually works for you and your business. We've had thousands upon thousands of members that have gone through this program with amazing results when they've implemented it. Maybe you've heard of the program, maybe you haven't, but if you haven't, I want to invite you to a really cool free training where I'll show you what it's all about and I'll share with you my exact results or at least some of my exact results that this has already given me and thousands of my other students. So if you'd like to get registered for this free training that we have, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you, or you can go over to tanyaliza.com forward slash 117 download and on the blog you'll be on my blog you can click the yellow button below this video and you can get registered for our next upcoming session we have the webinar going on right now and i would suggest dive into that free training learn why and how having a blog is very important for you and your business and then decide if it's something that's right for you and the deciding factor would really be are you here to make a full-time income? Like I'm talking about four or 5,000 plus dollars per month in your business. If that's you and you wanna create a long-term residual brand and income in your business, that training is gonna be amazing. So go over to tanyaliza.com forward slash 117 download, click the yellow button, get registered for our next upcoming session. And if you notice that one of those sessions is no longer happening because we don't do them all the time, then you can just go over to the show notes inside of the description box here and I'll leave a direct link to the Ultimate Branding Blueprint. You can check it out. There's our success stories on there and you can get all of the juicy details there for you and your business. Now, I know the reason why we started our business. It was for freedom, right? Well, freedom is not running around all day trying to drum up business, trying to figure out where your next customer, your next teammate's gonna come from in your business. It is about, freedom is about creating systems and leverage for you and your business and learning how to market through valuable content that will be on the internet forever, generating you leads and sales 24 seven with or without your efforts once the work is done once. That's where true freedom lies, is developing those kinds of systems and having that type of leverage in your business. You gotta learn how to do that. I see so many leaders inside of network marketing that are running their asses off trying to keep that check. And it's almost like they're shackled to that check that they've created in their network marketing business because they don't have the systems, they don't have the leverage that they should have created in the first place. And it's almost like they don't know what they don't know. They don't know that anything else is out there and they've created this big check that they've got accustomed to and they don't want that to go down or they don't wanna risk that. I totally understand, but you have to find systems and leverage somewhere in your business because if you don't start now, where is it ever going to come? So don't wear yourself out in this industry. It is a beautiful profession. Just make sure that you set yourself up right to win and you don't burn yourself out and you actually truly learn how to create that check and that freedom that you originally signed your independent contractor agreement for. And that, my friend, is exactly why I created the Ultimate Branding Blueprint. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I'm going to leave a free training that will kind of pull back the curtains and dissect how this can really work for you in your business and actually help you. You can go over to tanyaliza.com forward slash 117 download, click the yellow button on the blog and you'll be able to register for the next online training that I have that we have going on right now. And if for some reason you don't see that training happening anymore, I'm gonna also leave, like I said, in the resource section, in the show notes section of this episode, the link that'll take you right to the Ultimate Branding Blueprint and you can check the details out on that. And you can also see all of our amazing success stories from our students. Question of the week. Do you have a blog that you use for your business to help you grow your business as far as leads and sales go? If you do, type it in the comment section below and let me know what you love most about having that infrastructure in place for you and your brand and your business. I would love to know, so with the community, so drop it like it's hot in the comment section below. 
So did you get some value out of today's episode? I truly hope you did. If you think this information would be valuable to anybody you know, or your peeps, or your team, or any of your communities, make sure to smash the share button and get it out there. Also make sure to give us a like or a thumbs up via one of the share or comment buttons around this video. And I will see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.